Hello YouTube, your boy Bobby Sony here and today I'll be showing you how to install uh, Windows 10 or a bootable operating system from your USB in UEFI mode. Now normally persons tend to if they want to install a uh, operating system they'll make their USB drives bootable but then for a laptop or computer that's having a UEFI mode um, enabled uh, it would just not boot now the problem with that is that you need to have your flash drive um, that you're using to boot your computer in UEFI mode that also has to be prepared in UEFI mode bootable in order for you to install Windows or whatever operating system that uses this feature. Now, for this particular laptop, it updated. It was Windows was installed on it um, in the legacy mode, and it updated and changed back the settings to UEFI. So, in order to um, get this UEFI mode going. We are going to reinstall Windows. We're not going to do the whole reinstallation on this video, but we're just going to show you a procedure. For this particular um, laptop, it's uh, Acer. Uh, Acer One, um, Aspire One Cloud Book 14. And it should wait work for all uh, most new Acers and uh, other computers About um, tend to follow the same rule or the same method. Now, in order to we would first would want to reach the boot menu by striking F12 as we are booting however in this particular Acer it is disabled now in order to enable it we're going to shut back the computer off try to go in the BIOS settings by striking F2 as it's booting as it's turning on, we want to strike F2 continually until it comes up like this. And we have the boot menu here. When we're presented with this boot menu, we're going to go into main. Come down to F12 boot menu. If you notice it's disabled, then we're going to enable it. Then, also, we want to make sure we are in UEFI mode. And we go at the boot um, tab here set in UEFI mode after that we're going to press F10 to save all changes and press yes and if we try to hit the F12 now as it's rebooting it should welcome us with a boot menu yes good but you notice now that you're not seeing any drives now the drive that it as I was explaining earlier it was installed Windows was installed on this drive using the legacy method method and in order to go around that to use UEFI in order for your flash drive to show up because if I push this flash if I put the flash drive inside this laptop right now and try to boot menu it uh, with the legacy settings it would not work so First, you're going to need a image of what the operating system, be it Windows 7, Windows 8, or Windows 10, and you are going to need a program, say for example here, like Rufus. Now, what Rufus does is help us to get an image to use an, to have a get a bootable image. Now, on the settings here, you want to make sure you select. When you're using Rufus, there's a lot of videos on YouTube. You can see how to use it. But this setting here, you want to normally it would be an MBR partition scheme for a BIOS or UEFI. Now we want uh so this will work for some computers, but for this particular computer, it uses the GPT partition style for UEFI. If I use any of these, it would not show up in the boot menu here. Now, I've already done this to my flash drive. So, I'm going to plug it out. Plug it in here. Please give me a moment. Uh, let me plug it in here. 
logged in then I'm gonna restart the computer then I'm gonna press I'll be hitting F12 again uh, and now you see the drive has come up and all we have to do is just press enter and it should boot up in with the UEFI settings enabled uh, we're just gonna wait there for to confirm taking a while but once you see the little spinning thing there windows will boot so thank you very much and if this video was of any help you are uh, Appreciate it if you hit that thumbs up button. Thank you and see you in the next video.